Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we are riding the Suzuki Axis 125. This is my personal scooter, and I thought of vlogging with this uh, right away. So we have reviewed the TVS Jupiter, and the link uh, I'll give it into the i button, which is right side located over here. So you can click it and watch it. So this is uh, the Suzuki Axis 125, and uh, it ha it has a 124 cc engine, whereas uh, uh, it can generate 8.4 uh, PS of power at uh, 7500 RPM whereas the peak torque comes at 10.2 uh, Nm of torque at 5000 RPM the curb weight uh, of this scooter is around 107 kgs whereas uh, the uh, fuel lid inside this is of 5.7 liters and the claim mileage which Suzuki claims is of uh, 64 kmpl which is absolutely wrong whereas the scooter is in the phenomenal condition as it is brand new it is on almost uh, around 20 30 days uh, and i have almost rode it uh, 1000 kilometers in all the driving conditions barish girri thi and everything i've tested it out the engine right down there okay this is the 124cc engine it gets a uh, tubeless tires 90 by 100 and uh, they are 12 this back tire is of 10 inch as uh, the boot space i mean the yeah boot space only uh, of this scooter is uh, around 10 to 12 kgs i suppose i am not sure about it but uh, this are tubeless tires this is alloy wheels and comes with the cbs what uh, which is called as the combi braking system flooding every time everywhere okay what not and uh, this is the okay stands in each and okay anyways the front tire is of 12 inches and this is the 12 mm or 10 mm, I don't know what. Uh, this is the disc brake, and this disc brake is okay type, not good as the Jupiter. The suspensions are on the sturdiest side, and uh, any pothole can create a back pain very badly. So there are some positives, there are some negatives. The positive part in the scooter is it has a long seat, very long seat in the segment, and uh, the uh, appearance of this scooter is almost same as the Vespa I suppose because it is very retro looking very retro looking and uh, it uh, the Suzuki has launched it uh, in around 2016 and uh, it is a bullseye man it is a bullseye and the sales are like uh, crossing the limits and uh, what not so there is the light so this is not the led light this is the bulb and both are bulbs inside this so this is the longest silencer in the segment it it is the cvt gearbox which is common variable transmission this is a special edition one which comes in the matte black color and there are three more colors which uh, specifically to be talked about is the white color one the metallic gray and the silver and this baby the matte black one so uh, there is the analog meter over here here and uh, analog speedometer and the digital trip meter and the fuel gauge I'll just switch this on mirrors over here and uh, everything is chrome everything on this scooter is chrome and uh, personally I like it so match and everything I've installed it and uh, I've, I want to show you something I've bought this keychain from Orbiz so I'll uh, drop a link uh, in the description if you want to buy it and uh, hashtag this is not sponsored by Orbis. okay so uh, stands off and uh, here comes the charging point and one more thing I forget forgot to show you is okay by boot space kit now so it comes uh, in a 12 uh, kg uh, 12 liters whatever you say so tool kit is given first aid kit is given some papers of the bike and the reason for the big boot space is because of the small tire which is of 10 inches which helps uh, the scooter to gain uh, more power and uh, good torque i suppose okay so uh, normal uh, it gets a aho means all all time headlight headlight on which consumes a ton of battery whereas it gets a one uh, what do you say one push start uh, system there is this is the horn this is the indicator this is the upper dipper and uh, this is the camera Matlab, i am vlogging with the camera and this is a mirror okay anyways so economy speed is around 30 to 50 and if you go beyond you will get a, uh, another uh, different type of mileage and i have checked the fuel efficiency on this 64 kilometer is absolutely fake okay so i'll just switch it on again 
so it's a full full swing okay so i'll just uh, apply this brake okay and one start only one time and leave it it will rotate the motor again and again and again which will drastically impact the motor in some of the years and you have to change the starter motor if possible so without any further ado let's get started and ride the scooter on the city traffic or uh, city road i hope the audio is quite uh, fine and uh, okay they are constructing the roads that is very good and uh, thank god our signal is open and uh, okay i'll talk more about the engine and everything right now 108.4 ps of power 1.5 ps of power more than the tvs jupiter and uh, the acceleration is quite good in this i mean you just pull it and the motor like applies all the force to just pull you forward the best in the class uh, scooter i suppose because uh, this is the 125 scooter very cheap in the segment very cheap in the segment uh, the 125 cc usually gets uh, two more uh, things which is uh, the n torque and the uh, Aprilia SR125 which is I think so discontinued and uh, launched in a new form factor uh, which is called as the Aprilia Strom uh, the further person is the Zomato wala so if you want to order from Zomato no links would be down in the description box 84 seconds left and uh, the scooter is idling right now I don't think so you can hear any noise from this noise so I can't say you that because uh, it is normal this is the choke of the scooter and after applying choke it will automatically go forward yeah because engine racing starts and this is the charging point you can keep a half liter of bottle over here and what not everything is included in this small piece of machine it has a good leg space it has the longest seat in the segment and uh, the suspensions are on the uh, not on the softer side i mean they are little uh, harder i mean sturdy enough because uh, you feel the jerk on your back i mean it cannot be ridden on for uh, uh, about 60 kilometers a day continuously 4 seconds 3 2 1 and here we go so i request you to wear a helmet first before riding everywhere in the country of india because uh, safety is our number one priority and uh, for safety people have installed uh, the speed breakers everywhere and uh, okay so the pull from this motor is quite phenomenal and uh, i personally like uh, this okay i was talking about that uh, i why didn't i go for jupiter or uh, the activa so the weight of the activa is comparatively more than the axis 125 because uh, uh, axis uses the abs material uh, the uh, full form I will uh, state here down below Kya full form is ka uh, Talk more about uh, Activa So it gets a full steel uh, body uh, See if you can see, uh, see the dent on that So that is the uh, metal body on that So which, uh, which, uh, which creates the scooter very heavy And I don't want a heavy scooter Because uh, it can be maneuverable I mean it can maneuver everywhere uh, if you want So uh, first was that second Jupiter was of uh, 110 cc it does not come with 125 cc and that is not the main issue but uh, Jupiter's costing is a bit higher side uh, which was uh, sitting in my budget but the seat size was very small wherein this uh, this seat is a very long seat and I am almost 6.2 feet uh, which uh, gets see uh, my leg space is enough I mean I can uh, manage see I have left my both the hands and it is great going so this is the Activa guy uh, he was uh, staring at me so there was the main reason uh, b uh, for I was not going with the Jupiter or uh, the Activa but it depends on your choice the service facilities which uh, is being given to you and uh, uh, what not the, there is a service center nearby to my house only for the Suzuki so I can go but if you if service center is far away, I won't recommend you to buy uh, Suzuki or Honda or uh, the T 
TVS. But I mean, ke if I recommend you to buy a Jupiter, if the service center is 40 km long, then uh, who will go? I mean, uh, who will do the service? And uh, I have bought an extended service facility from this uh, Suzuki only, which costs around 750 rupees. But now the prices have been changed to 950. Noise would be recorded from my uh, phone. Okay, so I'll I have uh, kept my recording on. Okay, so I'll just start now. Okay. Okay, it. Uh, okay, I'll just save this. Okay, so rattling noise is a bit in this scooter, and everything it gets vibrated after I rev so much, because uh, I don't know it's the problem with the engine or not. But this is the SCP engine, which is called as the Suzuki Eco Performance which was not there in the previous version of Axis 125 which were consuming more fuel because uh, of this Suzuki Eco performance we get a little more efficiency in the fuel so all in all I'll just talk about that uh, if I f refuel the full uh, so it is around uh, 380 to 400 rupees depends on what state you belong but the full fuel will take you up to only 220 kilometers if you are a rigorous rider like me i'll talk about the front light right now so this is the halogen bulb i mean 12 watt i think so this is the 12 watt halogen bulb there are two side indicators you can see this and obviously there are two side indicators okay there are some small lights over here if you can see this i'll just switch it on for you okay so Okay, I'll just, I switched it on and as you can see the bulb is glowing and there are two uh, small uh, bulbs over here. One is on the this side and another is one is on that side. So these are the tubeless tires and an alloy tires. I personally like them and uh, they are looking quite good. This is the speedometer cable and on the other side you get the disc brake with the combi combined braking system which is called a CBS which also gets in the Activa. There is a quite good roof rail on the back side and one more thing this is the disc brake right so the oil which is on the disc brake is over here uh, i think so you can see this the oil is over here so you can check it this is the choke and okay you can uh, uh, store your veggies over here nice one i like it three kgs of weight over here three kgs of weight over there and uh, you can stop the video and read the warning sign to uh, 0 to 80, 0 to 70 because Samne is speed breaker, hai, so I don't think so. We can do, but right foot, um, right uh, hand on the accelerator and left foot, on, left hand on the brakes. Okay, I I am no, uh, I'm not a scooter or bike guy. I like cars more. So, anyways, let's start now. Okay, I have on the full accelerator and it is going fast speed. Six, 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 six. Okay, 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 okay. Good going. Okay, that's tough. Okay, I have touched 80. I have touched 80. It takes a lot of time to come because uh, the engine is not so powerful. So. Uh, the X showroom starts from 60,000 and it all the way goes up to 70,000. There are three variants in this particular model, which is the steel wheels and no CBS, nothing. The second model, which is an upgrade to this one, has the CBS itself and also the alloy wheels, which are of silver color. And the third is the particular model, which I am riding, which is the special edition one. It gets uh, everything into it. The package is completely worth it if you are planning to uh, upgrade to Suzuki Axis 125. There are all in all eight colors involved in this particular scooter, which is black, white, there is silver, metallic, grey, blue, red, matte black, and uh, and one more color. Okay, I don't remember actually. But this scooter is quite amazing and it comes in a very good package and overall performance is quite good. But anyways, this is my small video.
I mean, it has turned to be large. But this is my small video on the Suzuki Axis 125, the special edition one, and I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay tuned. Bye bye.